Hi there, my name is Anna Caffrey. I'm a senior lecturer in public health at the University of East London. And one thing that public health brings to this conversation around what is going on in the world today with the coronavirus is to really look at the social side of this pandemic rather than really just thinking narrowly about our biology and what's going on with this disease. And this is really critical and important because around the world, we've got different group, groups of people dying at much higher rates and having worse outcomes than each other. We're not having all the same um, kind of experience in this crisis. So what am I talking about? The social determinants of health are extremely important to look at. The government has said, on the one hand, we need to do things like stay two meters apart from each other and have space to stay safe. But we've got an epidemic of incarceration around the world. We have millions of people who that's not an option for them. They cannot socially distance. And in fact, we're seeing a really disproportionately high um, number of cases of COVID-19 among incarcerated people. Um, we've got food insecurity and an epidemic of hunger around the world. And if you tell people you need to stay home, don't go to work, but they're hungry, they won't be able to make the decision to listen to that public health advice. Uh, people have to meet their basic needs. It's really important that we have new technologies, uh, adequate ventilators, and you know we're pushing for a vaccine. But Going back to hunger, some really basic needs must be met for people to have access to health and protect their families, take control over their lives. We have an epidemic of homelessness. People cannot stay home if they don't have a home to stay in or a safe place to stay. Uh, people who are in really overcrowded uh, areas with unsafe housing are not Stay safe necessarily staying home either. Uh, we've got a lot of violent conflict all over the world. That's an, another epidemic, whether it's domestic violence in the home or whether it's armed conflicts around the world, which are displacing people. None of those people are safe in this era of coronavirus, thinking about their social determinants of health. So when you're watching the news and you see uh, people talking about pre-existing conditions, it's really important to think about the pre-existing social conditions that, that make those things risky. So for example, diabetes and obesity, we know that those are pre-existing conditions for um, making the coronavirus more deadly, but we know that those map to areas of deprivation and poverty. So around the world, um, four out of five people who have diabetes live in low and middle income countries. Uh, in the UK, the poorest parts of um, London where I live are ones that have the highest rates of childhood obesity. Um, so we need to be really critical when the news is talking about these things as if the people who are dying at higher rates have something essentially wrong with them, that actually we have an unequal society and there's something wrong with that that we must fight and work together to find solutions for. And I think it's exciting that public health can give us the tools um, and frameworks to, to make sense of that and to do better. We cannot uh, continue to be okay with living in a world where um, some people are dying at much higher rates and it's entirely preventable um, or living less quality of life years when people next door are not as vulnerable um, and, and they're, they're doing fine. So for example, we are recently finding out that over um, four times as many black people in the UK are dying from the coronavirus compared to their white counterparts. And that's unacceptable. And it's not about biology. As my colleague, Dr. Winston Morgan, has written about, and I've, I've got some resources and links in the um, description of this video, um, that we cannot essentialize racism down to um, uh, something biological. That is a uh, social construct that is about how we treat each other and value some people's lives more than others, how some people live with chronic stress of living in a racist society. Um, and so that is an, an preventable um, excess level of death in, in society that we must be looking for answers on how we can do better. Uh, so keep your eyes out for the social determinants of health when it comes to COVID-19 and these um, Instead of just looking at the, the pre-existing biological conditions, we have to really think critically about the pre-existing social conditions of health.
I hope that you and your family stay safe. And um, please feel free to get in touch with us at UEL if you're thinking about uh, studying public health. Um, I want to know what kinds of things you're seeing in your community. Uh, what, what doesn't look right, uh, what kinds of research questions we should be asking on the community level in order to attack these problems that are, we're facing as a, as a global community. Take care.